Hi everyone. Um, I hope you've been doing well. We've had a not turbulent, but um, unsettled couple of weeks is how I feel like describing it. Um, the only the other day I was thinking, I really hope I find time to do another quick update. But to be honest, I didn't even really know what I was gonna talk about in the update until today. So the energy that's come <laughs> with this uh, message or experience is very high and it's left me feeling quite um, uh, tingly and breathless so please forgive me if I'm um, <laughs> I don't know coming across a bit weird it's I think it will take a long time to calm down for this and I don't have the opportunity to wait for that if I'm gonna do the message so anyway let's get on with it um, this morning I got another experience of what this wave of energy is going to be like. Um, this one yet again, more intense than the, the last two really strong ones that I've had. Um, the only way I can describe what I was feeling, my whole body started to um, just uh, twitch and, and vibrate and get very charged. And, and that's what it felt like. Those of us that are energy runners and constantly, uh, are consciously um, running these energies through our vessel, as this wave of energy is building and approaching, it's like we will have batteries within us that just start charging. It's like our core starts charging with this energy and it starts building and building and building. And at the same time, will know uh, uh, there's a moment that we're holding for and I, I don't know what that is or what that means exactly but I'm sure that as we feel this core energy building um, we will know that it, we are to keep building it and at a certain point something happens um, I think this is when we release the energy somehow <laughs> um, I'm not even sure I can explain it properly. It was just this feeling and then this knowing that there is a moment that we're waiting for and we will be given the code word <laughs> for it when we're supposed to act. And, and this may not be a word as such, it may be a, a, and in a knowing, a prompt, something that will trigger, yes, this is when we're supposed to uh, release it, I suppose similar in the way Gaia does now by releasing from her grids and, and core um, <laughs> and this bit I know is probably good it, you know I see it and in the moment I understand it all and I know it to be true but then now that I actually have to say it out loud I realize how fanciful all this can sound at times but I got the distinct sense and again this is just my experience of it so you know take from it what you will <laughs> none all anything it's fine um of ships and escorting this energy feels not quite the right word accompanying it maybe riding it in I, I don't know but I get this sense that those of us that can uh see them will see the ships coming in with this and there were four, I know there'll be many, 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 many. There were four really strong energies that um, I felt almost doing a flyby. It's, it was kind of the feeling that when uh, Air Force jets accompany like either Air Force One or when there was all the terrorism happening, they would accompany passenger jets in safely um, to the airports that were, that were still in the sky. They would give them an escort. Um, it feels like that, although both of those words, accompany and escort, don't feel quite right. Um, but that's the sense I'm getting, coming in with them, br bringing them in, I, I don't know. And the four energies that I got with that very strongly were um, Syrian, Arcturian, Andromedan, and Pleiadian. And I, as I said, I know there's gonna be many, many, many more but I feel like these two, it, whether it's for me personally or, um, you know, uh, a large group of us, it feels like those four energies are very predominant with coming in with this, this big wave of energy. 
Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I did also um, hear it as almost, I don't know, like a whisper, but again, uh, words just seem so limiting to describing all of these things, as I'm sure you, you have the same experience with. Um, I think it was Athena. And I do believe I have at times heard, and it's again, it's something that I will hear, I will look up, uh, I don't know, for confirmation, for curiosity, and then it goes again. Um, but I'm pretty sure Athena is known to be an Arcturian ship. So that would make sense. I don't know. I don't know a lot about all of that. Um, and again, I'm just going with the impressions I got and, and the only way that I can describe it with the words and then the, I don't know, um, way I experienced it. So anyway, it feels like it's getting closer. We keep having these incremental, well, not so much incremental anymore, but these base level rises where the Earth's frequency shifts up a notch and that's the new baseline. Um, so yeah, <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it there. There is some other stuff I wanna talk about, but I'll do that in another video, hopefully later this week. Um, it's to do, with, <laughs> I didn't realize the connection. It's an energetic practice I've been doing for a while. And it's like I suddenly got shown it from outside looking in what I'm actually doing. And um, yeah, and somehow it connects with the pyramids and, or, or at least a little bit. So again, um, hopefully I'll talk about that soon, but this energy is getting closer. I, and to say we're waiting for that particular moment w would be incorrect. We are in it now. Um, it's almost like that event is both the culmination and the beginning at the same, like it's the ending and the beginning all at once. And yeah, I'm sure you'll know hopefully what that means. So it's not, it's not the be all end all. It is just the catalyst that creates the ending, which allows the new beginning, I think is the way I'm supposed to describe it. So anyway, um, I've been thinking about you all. I've had a lot on um, personal projects and things. I've made a new soul map, which um, is based on Norse mythology and rune energy. Um, so when I get time, I'll share that with you and explain a bit and hopefully, um, yeah, you can let me know if you're interested in learning more. So until then, I'm going to go and get some rest while I've got the chance and I'm thinking of you all. I'm hoping you're riding through all of this okay. Um, there's some big personal challenges thrown in there at times and yeah, again, just remember every challenge presents an opportunity for something. It's up to you to find out what it is. So anyway, big heart hugs. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.